Two weeks on from the world's deadliest earthquake in 13 years, Turkey has begun to wind down rescue efforts, halting them in all but two provinces. Efforts continue in Hatay and Karaman Maras, the earthquake's epicentre, but any hope of finding survivors is dwindling by the day. It's estimated that more than 100,000 buildings have either collapsed, need to be demolished or are severely damaged, leaving many survivors with nowhere to go. I've been waiting for 15 days on this chair, in the cold. 15 days. Where will I go? My daughter, her husband, her son and daughter, four people from the same family are here. Tens of thousands of people have died in Turkey alone, a death toll which is expected to rise with many still unaccounted for. Of those lucky enough to survive, many have been left homeless. According to the government, over a million people are now living in temporary tent encampments. All this at a time where the temperature dips as low as minus nine degrees at night in some areas. The aid effort to Turkey in particular has been wide ranging, with over 100 countries and 16 international organizations pledging support for victims of the earthquake. Volunteers have traveled from the other side of the world to offer their help. We want to say how sorry we are for the people of Turkey, um, how much love we have for them and support, and we just want to help with, with relief and, and disaster assistance. That's why our team is here. The United Nations have appealed for more than a billion dollars in funds for the Turkish earthquake relief operation, with more than 100 million of that to be provided by the United States.